Now, my son is six, you know, I wanted to give him a better life. Uh, but to be honest, I, I'm annoyed at my son's life. I'm jealous, to be honest. Like, I, I've given him such a good life. Like, the other day, my son comes home, and he's just like, uh, Daddy, da first of all, my son, I see some people like, why is your son, why is he white? He's not white. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got a posh accent. We live in the countryside, all right? It annoys me, I'm not gonna lie, like, especially when my friends from Tottenham come, you know, they'll, they'll try to say hello to him, they'll be like, what, go on, little man, my son will be like, oh, hello, Uncle Neil. It's just like, hey, like go back in your bedroom, bro, just get out of here, man. <laughs> my son is posh, yeah? Comes home the other day, he's just like, uh, daddy, 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 uh, what's the Wi-Fi password? I just looked at him like, you privileged prick, like, how dare you? Man, I'm jealous because this boy has everything I never had as a child, yeah? He's got Wi-Fi, he's got toys, he's got his own bedroom, he's got a dad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Privilege, man. I ain't have none of that growing up. I ain't have toys growing up. I ain't have toys because my mum is Nigerian, yeah? Nigerians don't believe in fun. <laughs> they believe in education. That's what they believe. <laughs> I remember the first time I asked my mum for a toy. I was 10 years old. That is too late to be asking for a toy. Yeah. Asked her for a toy for my birthday. You know, I went into her bedroom, I was just like, uh, Mum, for my birthday, can I get a toy? And my mum was just like, ah, Tunde, you want a toy? Here's a toy. It's called the Bible. Go and read it. <laughs> Go and play with Jesus. Annoyed me, man. Plus, now me and my wife, we're trying to, like, move my son to, like, a private school because we got money. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we went to the private school. They showed us around, showed us all the facilities and stuff like that. And we were just looking around, asking them questions. And they told us, they were just like, this is going to be a great school for your son because we don't tolerate bullies. And I was just like, uh, me and my wife are going to talk quickly just for a second. You know what I'm saying? Went to my wife and I was just like, they don't tolerate bullies, right? She was just like, yeah, that's a good thing. I was like, no, 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 no. I want my son to get bullied. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, he's too damn privileged. Yeah. <laughs> he's built some character. I think all children should get tested. I do. I do, man. I got bullied when I was young. I got bullied just because my name is Baba Tunde. That was it. All the kids used to laugh at me. They used to come up to me. They'd say like, ha ha, your name's Baba Tunde. That's a funny name. And like, I didn't have nothing to say back to them. Like, you know, back in the day, you'd be like, yeah, your mum. I didn't have your mum jokes. <laughs> <laughs> the only jokes I had were like jokes that my Nigerian mum would give me. <laughs> this is the thing you gotta understand. Nigerian parents don't understand English banter, right? They only understand real African curses, yeah? <laughs> So when all the kids would come up to me, yeah, my mum would just tell me what to say to them. So as soon as they come up to me, they'd be like, ha ha, your name's Baba Tunde. I would be like, my mama told me to tell you, if you say that to me one more time, I will do voodoo on you and you will die. <laughs> Traumatize the crap out of them, you know what I'm saying?